instant classic is here upon us. We're talking about Johannes Vermeer, Jean Vermeer, one of the great Dutch Baroque painters, one of the great painters of Western culture uh, ever. And yet his paintings, many of his paintings, are so focused on remarkably similar images with incredibly different possible takes and interpretations. Take a look at our painting for the day. And again, I wanted to give you a little bit, of, a little bit more information about Vermeer. There he, he is on the left of this split screen. And what do we know about Vermeer? What do we know about this guy? He's very little compared. You think about, take what we know of, of Rembrandt, for instance, and uh, you could write, and people do write, tens of thousands of pages of books worth of the explanation. Vermeer is so wonderfully, for lack of a better word, so wonderfully, uh, uh, he's an enigma in many ways. And so he was a Dutch Baroque painter specialized in domestic interior scenes of middle-class life. During his lifetime, he was moderately successful. He was a provincial genre painter. He was recognized in Delft and at The Hague, but he wasn't certainly a, a, a figure that was known all across the Dutch Republic, nor was he a, really an international painting painter of, of, of repute. Uh, nonetheless, he produced relative, and on top of that, he produced very few paintings comparatively to people like Rembrandt, and evidently, he did not live a wealthy life himself. He was not rich. He left his wife and children in debt when he died. Vermeer worked slowly and with great care and frequently used very exp expensive pigments, so that must have been an interesting dinner table to sit around. He is particularly renowned for his masterly treatment and his use of light in his painting. So take a look at this painting. It is The Milkmaid, if you want to use that title for it. Uh, it's an interesting, very interesting painting. The painting shows a milkmaid or a woman who milks cows and makes dairy products like butter and cheese in a plain room carefully pouring milk into a squat earthenware container on a table. Milkmaids began working solely in the stables before large houses hired them to do housework, as well as the hiring out uh, to avoid having to hire out more staff. Also on the table in front of the milkmaid are various types of bread. She is a young, very stocky, sturdily built woman wearing a crisp linen cap, a blue apron, and work sleeves pushed up from her thick forearms. A foot warmer is on the floor behind her near Delft wall tiles depicting Cupid to the viewer's uh, view on the left, uh, with a figure, at, with a pole holding onto a pole to the right. And so it's really kind of interesting. The painting is very illusionistic, conveying not just details, but a sense of the weight of the woman and the weight of the table. Uh, besides the really interesting use of light in the painting, look at the feel of it. Everything just feels heavy. Look at the basket hanging on the wall, which almost is so full that it's the gravity's beckoning it to come. Look at those breads. Eating, I mean, I, if, you, if you love fresh bread, look, that bread looks like it would just put 10 pounds on you. It's just incredibly dense and thick. And then you've got the milk and you've got that incredibly uh, roomy shawl, that beautiful cobalt blue shawl that wraps around her ample waist and hips. It all suggests weight in very many ways. Uh, one critic says there's even kind of a Mona Lisa effect, as we saw in yesterday's paper uh, painting as well, in modern viewer reactions to the painting, uh, that somehow, somehow you see in her going about her daily tasks, and there's the same enigma. When you look at the Mona Lisa, the one question you ask yourself is, what is she thinking with that enigmatic smile? You take a look at the picture of, picture of this young woman, and you too, you see a very pensive woman who's going about her business, but you can't help but look at how tensed her forehead is. Look at how uh, the, 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 the uh, bumps on, the muscular bumps on her forehead stand out. This is a woman seriously and completely thinking about something.